Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Daily Phantom Abyss. So, uh, I just said coffee so I'm pretty much awake. Um, I already did a little speedrun attempt and died in the end. So, <laughs> um, I just skipped that. Um, because normally I only make like one try and then I press idle 4 and leave the game. And now, um, I wanna, since I'm talking right now, make a little, nah, I wouldn't call it a help guide, but I wanna explain some traps and some tricks to you, which might help you. Um, you have to consider for yourself if these kind of tips and tricks are more like for beginners or intermediates or uh, professionals, I don't really know. I just tell you them and explain to you and do whatever you want with this information. So, um, now let's use this site. How do you get up here? I mean, just hold right click, jump, left click, and then you press forward. So the character hits this little slope and flies upwards a little bit. Super duper easy. Like, this room is very easy as well. I mean, these traps you don't really have to care about. There's nothing right here. Just ignore them. Yeah, I died right here. <laughs> anyway. Um, if you want to be safe, just go right here. Don't care about him. Only if you see the white lines, just stop. And after it, go ahead. Jump. I'm not even sprinting, so it's super easy. Now let's get some coins. I always see that many, 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 many temples only have a clear rate of, I don't know, 10%, 20%. I think it's really sad that so many people fail at a temple. So I want to explain to you everything I can because this game is super easy. <laughs> Now don't get me wrong, I mean I play this game since literally day one, so of course the game is super easy for me, but for a beginner the game is for sure very very hard and terrifying. So you always need to be a little bit risky and not too terrified by the traps. You just uh, stop the trap, you don't need to hit the blade, just hit this, you see, if you get the symbol, click and jump, and jump, stop that, and jump, and you're good to go, we'll know it. Let's go up here, take a soul, or collect a soul, now give it to me. Yeah, that was pretty dumb, but now you know how to avoid the sit. Again, a simple crouch jump, so I press jump. And then I hold crouch to lift up my feet, else the spikes would hit me. Nah. Oh, I don't care. Easy. As soon as the spikes um, go back inside, you can um, touch them right now you see the hitbox disappears as soon as they are start to go down again with a speed whip you always can overrun these types of spikes and again as soon as they descend you can hit them without getting a hit oh i guess sand room fell down somewhere Is he so slow or where is he going? Maybe some hidden chest right there. I don't know. Oh yeah, I got enough coins. Wings. Ah, I fucking love wings. The best advantage in the game in my opinion. For sure. Mm, 
this fire doesn't hurt you at all. It's totally fine. Can't you just... Oh, nice hitbox. Very cool hitbox. Oh, God. Same shitty hitbox with all the guardians. <laughs> um, so, this might be a more advanced trick right here. But... Just get used to it. Uh, you definitely need uh, some speed for it. So, um, the speed whip or the ice whip. Yeah, should be fine too if you crouch. So, just be fast. Anyway, let's wait for the guy. Yeah, perfect. Just take some speed, jump late, and then you whip the wall right here. So, you fell uh, you fall pretty far down even under the yellow uh, smoke or fog whatever then you rip the wall maybe at the side and as you saw you're just holding forward all the time and you land right here and if you want you can go up collect some coins if not go ahead and crouch Always be slow when you go up the staircase because sometimes you get blades directly in front of you, so don't run into them. Yeah, and again, like this is not any trap at all because <laughs> you just can jump right here. Now, I saw in Donna's videos that he was scared of this room layout yesterday. I mean, yesterday uh, you got way, way more enemies. But in this room, I always sprint through, and jump over one layer of the spikes, and just grab her that. You never want to grab her the slower socket because often you will find spikes there, so it's just a dead end. So, like if you go inside of here and all the booming enemies start to chase you, if you're just fast enough and just go ahead don't go backwards you just completely can ignore them so the only really trip in this room he just respawned I guess uh, so the only uh, trip you have to care about in this room is a trip which is mostly here or here you know sometimes here are have four trips and here but if you only have like um, one layer of them you can just easily easily crouch jump over them now disappear then you grip here grip here I hate you ah oh, it's a phantom Um, in this room, you need to do four uh, uh, torches, busies, I don't know how to call them. Um, it doesn't really matter which door you start, or which gate you start. Um, maybe just don't waste too much time standing here, because if you have the Devil Rang Rage behind you, uh, uh, at one time he will just spawn so he always spawns I don't know somewhere in this room pretty much in the middle but if you're already kind of far in one direction you already have some space between him and you so I mostly um, start going to the top left because you spawn on the top so it's easier to make the first route to a top layer um, I have wings so I can just easily fly over there but if you don't have wings, you can just press jump and just rip it. Cotton! Hey! 
You need to try again, you died. Crouch jump. Crouch jump. Jump. Whip. Nothing too hectic. And jump. Hold right click. Always forward. Now backwards. And there you go. Jump. Super easy. You see, like, I, I didn't even... Oh, shit. Where did he come from? I didn't even took a look uh, at any trips on the side because it... I mean, just look forward to the exit and I saw... Oh, there's only this and this in the way. Ah, oh, shit. So, it's more or less pretty easy. Wait for them. I don't know what's here. Ah, I don't care. Because I want to save my keys for the final exit. Now this room can be quite terrifying. Just go in and stay back here. Especially for beginners. Or, or if you just want to take your time exploring. Keep in mind they do respawn so don't take too long of a rest here. By the way, if they here come out, you can walk under them. Just be quick. Come on. Activate. I don't know why they don't activate right now. That is weird. Suck. So I mostly would recommend that if you're staying here, just go to this platform, avoid totally the ramp. Now see, respawned. Alright, another, if I stay here, yeah, he's dead. Now, if you are in this room and you come out the top, the exit is always at the bottom. If you come out the exit, uh, if you come out the exit, if you come out the bottom, the exit is always at the top. So I already know if I'm Entering this room in the top, I know, right, the exit might be in this corner or in this corner. Now I already saw it's in this corner, so if you want to do it safe, just wait. There you go. Now if you use a speed whip, um, mm, Mostly the game gets easier, but in the beginning the game might feel more difficult to you because you are faster and you need to Let's say process the room layout faster as well So you really have to get used to it, but uh, The speed whip gives you a big advantage um, To skip many many trips by the way, did you know you just can stand right here and don't get any hit? Cool, right? I mean, if you don't know that, the trap right here might be uh, very scary. So yeah, we we'll try to ah hop around this corner. But if you are pretty much in the center, just go ahead. Right here, I don't care. I just jump over it. And even if I'm not confident to jump over it, I just whip the edge. Wait for the boulder, wait for the darts, go ahead. Now the door's already open, but the way how you could approach it is this. Just run through, wait, don't even bother about him. Use your key, find a spot where no gas bomb is lying. Wait for him to shoot, no boulder, I can run. You see with speed whip you're so fast you can easily outrun any boulder, mostly. And yeah, two or four done. Now since I have wings, I just ripped up here and took this route. You also can just walk here up or you can just uh, jump from the staircases to one of the statue and try. I may be sure that as well. Oh god. 
I mean, this was a, was a bad example of whipping, but it still worked out. So, jump, whip, super easy. Ignorable with speed whip, go up here, done. Don't even have to bother. Always if she sees uh, these jump pads, just jump over them because mostly there <laughs> are spikes on top of the room. Um, so with this trip layout, you, as long as you don't hit uh, uh, jump pads, you only really have to care about uh, three layers. The bottom layer, the mid layer and the high layer. So there's no third layer right here. Oh, they're so loud it's crazy there's no third layer right here but um, if you just walk you're gonna hit the first two layers if you duck you can avoid the second layer and the third layer you can always avoid as long as you don't jump if you jump the third layer will hit you so you can duck under the second layer and jump under the first layer but if you jump under uh, over sorry if you jump over the first layer you have to uh, be sure that the third layer isn't above you. Now I press crouch to get my head down earlier. Ah, uh, what I'm doing. Can you just can easily wait? My quick orange ball did. Um, just even don't bother. Wait for the top layer to disappear. Jump a bit, whip. Jump, whip the side. Easy. Well, mostly safe. This room is always the same. The exit is always down here. I hate this room. I really hate this room. But the uh, uh, trip door, I call it, or the, the, the leak is always near the big pillar and mostly you don't you only have to master one storage yeah just go down here if you are not too comfortable falling down and pressing crouch you can of course use the elevator crouch jump Yeah, this room is pretty terrifying. So the lava fall has no hitbox. You just can jump through it without any hit. Just don't hit the ground. So, I mean, if you know this room a bit, you can just rip right here. I didn't even press anything on my keyboard. Now you just hold right click, aim up until the green like disappears and it's locked. Left click press forward, look in this direction and you land right here. Again, this is definitely, for sure, not at all the fastest way to go up right here, but it's pretty much safe. Jump. It's the same thing again. You can also jump to get a bit extra height. Now these strips are also pretty cool because you can Ah, uh, now I can't show you because I will be slowed down by the poison. But sometimes the blades which come out of the ground um, get activated by your distance. So if you have the speed whip and you are super fast, you can bypass them because they activate so late. But if you just strafe a little bit or, ju or um, be just 1% slower than full speed whip speed, um, you're gonna hit them. So you need to be at a hundred percent of speed. Yes, yeah, so right there I didn't even bother about the uh, enemies. Just go jump over here and I can totally forget them at all. Mostly down there is pretty deadly.
It's kind of cool to make a little trick like that. I know, I think it's just funny because after you press E you can't move anymore. And to activate the torch and being at a different position rather than in front of the torch I think is a little bit funny. So I never do really scrunts so I don't really know where to find some keys right here. Need to get an overview. Alright. Ah, back there as well. Over this you just can speed walk. Because if you touch lava you don't get immediately damage. It takes uh, half a second. Now, if you touch lava one time you will see I get a half hurt loss. Or hard hurt. Hard. Half love. Oh my god. Uh, half hurt uh, damage. Um, so to avoid the damage, you can go top right there and jump down. Or it's a bit tricky. Maybe it's a good exercise as well. Just stay here. Don't rip at the top. Just somewhere here. It's totally fine. Now, as you can see, uh, you totally overshoot. So look down and press S. So press a bit backwards to avoid overshoot. Look down so you know where to land and just tap a bit S. And again, tap a bit S. There you go. Holy moly, 22 minutes. Alright, um, my other video today is about uh, testing other whips. I tested some different whips, all pretty shitty. Because I only really can use the speed whip, everything else is way too slow. And the mechanic of this ice whip I really hate, so don't expect I will ever change my whip. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> even ninth place. Now I didn't even check the clear rate. Maybe the clear rate goes up. Oh, 20-22%. 2022. Well, 22%. Not too bad. I hope this goes up. Have a nice day. Goodbye.